on the 14th of November 2016, Kaikoura had a 7.8 magnitude earthquake, which really fucked things up. This video is for anyone intending to drive through Kaikoura at this particular point in time, either local Kiwis or backpackers. Okay, we're still on the way to uh, Kaikoura and uh, stopped at a uh, checkpoint here, STMS checkpoint. Um, Follow the progress by looking at the map on the left side of the screen. And um, there's a lot of manual traffic control operations going on on here, which basically means stop. <laughs> like like what we're doing right now. Prior to these earthquakes, this was normally a very pleasant, picturesque drive with stunning sea views and the, you've got the railway track and the seal colonies. It was lovely, but the earthquake triggered massive landslides and all the rocks came down and buried the road and the railways. Man, there's some major, major road moves here. We're about 26 kilometers north of Kaikoura right now. Like this whole section is all a 30k roadwork zone. I've already driven past most of it. Looks like we're about to get out of it soon. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. One day. <laughs> So for the past year, it has actually been an ongoing battle for all these guys to get this road clear. And yet, yeah, it's clear, kind of, but there's still a whole lot of uh, stop-go operations and roadworks in this area. All of the roadworks are happening between Ward and Kaikoura, and Kaikoura and Cheviot. And this is going to really screw up your GPS if you're using GPS to plan exactly how long it's going to take. Do not trust Google Maps. Dr. Google, Google Maps tells you that this leg of the journey will take you 1 hour and 12 minutes, 83 kilometers. Rubbish! You need to allow significantly more than that. I would say give it a good two hours. And you know, I reckon that the STMS and traffic control people have probably been told to wave to everybody as they go through, because when you actually go through these roadworks, it really does slow you down significantly due to the quantity of the roadworks. There's heaps of them, so you can imagine people who are going through this would really start to get pissed off at how long it actually is taking. We're just at our hotel right now. That's Nisha, the dog. She loves to lie down in the driveway. Come on. Open her face. Move. Goodness sake, get out of the way. Do I have to, do I have to scooch around you, do I? Is that what I have to do? She's still not moving. <laughs> Driving around her and she's not even moving. Lazy. <laughs> this is the, uh, the bit that I always find quite exciting because this is uh, where you go through the tunnel. The scary tunnel. Now there's just <laughs> roadworks everywhere all around the tunnel, there's just one tunnel available. Containers. Scaffolding. <laughs> this is all one lane. More containers. cliffs up there on the other side there, certain parts of the cliffs have netting and stuff on them to stop more rocks from coming down. Okay, let's see what Dr. Google says about leg 2 from Kaikoura down to Cheviot. The roadworks stop just before Cheviot. Wow, abseiling up there. Wow, 
so it's saying there that's 68.2 kilometers and that it's going to take one hour and four minutes. Not true! I would say allow a whole two hours. It took us probably about one hour just to get from Kaikoura down to about 25 kilometers south of Kaikoura. There is a heavy, heavy congestion of road roadworks in that area. Okay, let's talk for a second about longevity. Obviously, this particular video is really only going to be useful information for probably between one and three years. It's taken one year to get to the point to where it is now, and it's not fixed. It's going to take longer to really fix things. the traffic of the stop go operation going on there and they're all waiting interesting thing is that all of the uh, STMS's wave to you there must be a, there's got, definitely got to be a reason for that more netting so again we're approximately 20 kilometers south of Kaikoura not, not far south of Kaikoura at this point so, you know, if you sort of visualize what this road will be like, you know, in a few years time, it'll be all fixed up and there'll be nice concrete barriers everywhere. It'll be awesome. And it'll be interesting to look back on this video then. Anyway, thanks for watching. A wee bit of a different video from what I usually record, but I recorded so much of this unusual GoPro footage, I really had to make a video about it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment, perhaps subscribe. See you later.